So today I'm going to show you how to set up uh, projects using MCU Expresso and the LPC802 board. First, without the SDK, and second, with the software development kit. So first, we're going to use the green board setting, uh, non-SDK, to make a C project file. And here we're going to choose the semi-hosted version so we can do printf statements within the console built into MCU Expresso. You can choose whatever name you want. In my case, I'm just going to name it LPC802. I'm going to indicate that this is the non-SDK version of the project. So I can distinguish it from the SDK version that you'll see next. We'll use all the defaults. So these are all the default settings. You can choose a different C compiler if you want, but there's no need to. And so let's finish this project. Okay, so now we have a project set up. There is no SDK associated with it. It just has the bare bones uh, files associated with getting the board up and running. So this is the main file that we use for programming it. And here's the printf statement and a while loop. So we're going to build the project. You'll see it compiles very quickly. And then we will run a debug session using a board that is connected to the PC. So here I hit the debug icon. It looks for the built-in debugger that's on the board. It finds it. We say OK. And it will halt on the first line of the main statement, or the main function, so the printf statement. And there we have it. So it's halted on printf. I'll do a step over uh, using the debugger commands here at the top. And then you'll see that it will printf hello world to the console. There we are. And I can add a, uh, a breakpoint in the while loop if I want, but I can also do things like take a look live at what the peripheral registers are that are on the chip. So I could take a look at um, uh, system registers like these right here. I could take a look at the GPIO registers, I squared C registers, etc. I can read the values of those registers and I can write to those as well. Um, so that I could manually say, for instance, turn LEDs on and off. Um, so we can continue through the code and every time we continue through this loop, you'll see that the registers get updated. So we can see that the the code is working, the debugger is working, the chip is working on the board. So now that we're done with that, what we want to do is set up a new project using the SDK. So we have to go download it from the MCU Expresso SDK Builder website. You'll need a login ID to do so, um, but it's free, so there's no real problem doing that. Uh, sign up for a login, go to the site, and type in the name of your board. In our case, we're going to put 802 for either the chip or the board. We'll choose the SDK associated with the board. And you'll see that this one's blue as opposed to green. Uh, that'll make a little bit of a difference later on. So we can download it either as a zip file for Mac or a zip file for uh, Windows. And there's a package manager as well, a package manager file for Linux that you can download. So we'll download the archive. We can also download uh, documentation associated with the SDK. It takes a few minutes. Once that's in, we go back into the IDE and we drag the file, the zip file, from your file folder into the uh, tab called Installed SDKs in MCU Expresso. It will install all the files. And then the next time that you want to start a project, you can uh, using that particular SDK or one of the other SDKs that you've downloaded. So we'll start a new project. You can do it from a, a couple of different places within the IDE. And now instead of that green board in the menu here, we're looking for the blue one that says SDK as well. So it's an indication that we've got more support files associated with this board. So you can see there's a confirmation of the SDK version number and the intro uh, file creation or project creation window is a little different here. We can choose C or C++. In our case, we're using C. And the project files are being set up for you. And you'll see that there are a lot more files associated with uh, the SDK version of a project than there are without the SDK. 
we go into the source folder and you'll see the the file for the project the C project that we the, we want to deal with including the main function within it there we go there's also a printf statement uh, in there and one of the nice things about the SDK is the tab completion or menu completion uh, option that there is for writing in uh, peripheral names etc so if you want to take a look at registers not you can't quite remember what the register name was for say reset control uh, this is a feature that can help you this tab completion or menu completion um, for different registers so anyway so we can we can add in breakpoints we can take a look at uh, peripheral registers as well but one of the things you want to make sure before you go and build is that you close unrelated projects so any project that isn't the one you're currently working on generally a good idea to close them so you don't compile or build the wrong file or uh, just as bad debug uh, a project that you're not currently working on so closing the other ones is uh, generally a good idea so we're going to build we're going to debug it will once again uh, connect to the board send the uh, binary files into the board um, and then it will halt on the first line of your main function just as you see right here we can add breakpoints within the while loop as well so we can continue up until that while loop and then we can also take a look at peripheral registers just like we were doing earlier without the SDK so we have all these different modules inside of the chip we can look at the system configuration uh, registers etc and we can loop through the code and you can see that we're seeing the updates live of what's going on inside and that's basically all you need to know for getting a project up and running with MCU Expresso